Okay, so before we start the video, I want to say sorry for the bad camera work because I was using the back camera on my phone instead of the front one when I was uh, talking to you directly uh, to my face. So you kind of like see like half my face like that a lot of times. So I'm sorry about that, but I still hope you enjoy the video. Alright guys, today I'm going to be showing you my model railroad that I am building. It is an HL scale. And I was just kind of curious if this is something that people would actually enjoy to see or if it's just something that's going to fail. So let's get right into it. Alrighty, so today we are going to be starting off in the farm area or what's going to become the farm area. So with this area, we have, of course, a little farmhouse, barn, this little house, a depot, and of course this wall is up it's at an angle that's going to lead to the city way over way up in that wall so we're, we're going to have the city up there we have a turnout here which there is two turnouts uh up here there's one that comes along and actually we have a crossover that crosses over the farm this line's for the farm this line leads it's like a a slide, a uh, siding slash, uh, like a, uh, into the yard because it comes right into the yard and you see stuff from working on it. Comes into the yard, which we have track put down. You still have a bunch of things you have to work on. Like over here, this table used to be used in a big layout at train shows, but unfortunately, uh, fortunately, um, my grandpa is not really doing that anymore, so we're going to be using it in our layout. Yeah, it just jumped up here. Hi, go ahead. Alright, so now we start coming around here. We have a line in the back that goes underneath, and that's a, it's a tunnel all the way underneath the logging camp. And so we have uh, this two main, we have the main line, which is this one and that one, the, they both run. And then this is where the yard comes out onto the main line. We found that so it comes out. Coming around, just slowly coming around. We have this edge over here. Try to keep the turn relatively big, but we worked with what we had. Coming around, we have a turnout right here, which is this area within here is going to be a military base. As you can see from the awesome helicopters that we found at uh, the train store near us. This is a roughly one and a half percent grade coming up here that the cat is standing on. Now the cats, this is a big problem so what we're going to be doing is over there where you see the layout is ended, we're going to build a huge wall with the door at the entrance uh, for here. A huge wall so we cats like this button won't be able to get in here and be like Godzilla and destroy <laughs> destroy the train set so then that siding that we saw over there comes around through the military base and down a small grade underneath the bridge that well luckily the bridge is strong enough I built it myself that the uh, even the cat can stand on it it required a lot of super glue and uh, foam glue to keep it down and just some like wood stirring sticks I guess you'd say for paint. They worked very well. And then we come around, this is the part that's not finished. So we have most of the a roadbed or track laid down except for these two parts which this is going to be the city up here. So what we have planned for this area is we have the two main lines coming up. This line's going, the outside line it, for the eyes is going down. This line's going up. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in a turnout here. And we're going to put a crossover here like what we had over there. The can't move. And then it's going to come into a lumber yard where we have a lumber yard on top of the mountain. And I have the big crane like a, it's like that TV show like a, I don't remember what it's called, but they have the big crane, and then you have a bunch of trees on the hill, and the crane picks it up. And then we have a logging camp here. Now the main part that we're working on right now is where the cat's in, which luckily they don't really mess things up, they just kind of walk around and want to be pet, is we want to build a bridge from this side 
all the way to over here where this is. This is roughly the length of the area that we had to use from a piece of wood that I'm using. I know it doesn't look the best but when you put everything when you put everything above it or everything on top of it you're not even going to notice what's underneath and obviously everything can be replaced because it's mostly wood. So what we're going to do is we went out a bridge and between that post and that post we're going to have a piece of wood going across with string or metal wire coming down to support the bridge going across. Now the bridge is going to be turning, it's going to be like a uh, bend so that way it helps with the uh, turn because right now it's not sharp enough or this is too small of an area right here to make a turn. So we're going to be doing that and up here is going to be a city. There's a basic city, maybe a siding, and then so we have the city. We're planning on maybe putting like something behind, like we have the buildings, and then back here cut this out. I like, cut like a section out here, and have it go down underneath, to where all this stuff's going to be taken out. Because as we go, we move stuff around and take it out, and we want to build like and this is going to be where the kind of subway is. We're going to have a subway down here, and then I'm just going to run along, but we're thinking about even putting a, um, a freight line down here or two. So the freight line comes down from the city, back behind the city, so you don't see it until it comes way down here. And it comes along here, down the bottom. So all this bottom stuff is city. This is where the main line still continues, is up above. We have supports. Comes down. We have a lot of fans. We have normally humid down here so we're going to get a AC unit to put on that window over there and then later on when we're ready we're going to expand all this area underneath where you see foam from doing everything expand this to another yard but it's not going to be a yard like this like you're thinking of a uh, train yard where you keep everything no it's kind of but it's going to be more of a industrial yard with factories and it's going to have Basically everything that you need for the city, like factories, uh, meat pr meat production, uh, maybe even stuff for milk, um, just stuff like that to get under there. So we have a little bit more, I don't know, back and forth. So that way it's not just one point to another and then back. So you have like three areas going between. So and then that's what we have planned so far on the layout. I've been working on it. Um, I just got done putting it in this section over here. Coming up, I used a uh, tippy foam cutter to cut all this out. It definitely took a little bit, but it was worth it because it worked out really well. I was able to get the grade that I wanted, and I used some sandpaper as well to smooth it out. And it comes right up to the bridge. Now this bridge is really sturdy because I had this cat over here. It's being annoying. He was standing on it and I, I could put a lot of pressure down on that bridge even though we're not going to need it because the biggest train we're running is a Y6 so even though we're going to be running a Y6 which is close to one of the biggest because obviously the big boy is going to t uh, take the uh, top for the most part but uh, two competitive steam engines there but they're able to go across it no problem it's, it can withhold or withstand a lot of weight Luckily, so I'm kind of glad that that worked out. And um, a lot of the uh, stuff after once we get the train laid out is just a lot of design and forming the mountains and uh, laying down roads, buildings, and just kind of like the regular stuff. And I don't know if you guys would enjoy seeing that or if I'm just sitting here talking to myself and no one's going to come in here so and watch the video. So I hope that you enjoyed. And I hope that you come and watch the video, and maybe if you have some tips or questions, feel free to leave a comment, because I, I don't have a lot of people that are going to watch, so I'll be able to see it, and I'll reply as fast as I can. Alright, so thank you, and see you next time.